Hi everyone, welcome to Habitat Now, Habitat's original video podcast. My name is Dusty and we are in the studio today with my good friend and colleague Gretchen Sandoval who oversees volunteer engagement. Gretchen, thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. We are super excited to use your words um, to have you here and tell us a little bit about what's going on in volunteer engagement. We are active, we are busy. Um, currently we are building four homes in our South Phoenix subdivision. Um, and and we're really just gearing up for our next round of builds. We have 21 homes coming here at the Alta Vista community starting in about October. And then we'll also have a Peoria house that's kicking off. And we're, we're going back to uh, Arizona City, which our team's super excited about. So Nice. So lots of building opportunities for so lots of volunteers. I think we hosted some 10,000 volunteers last year. It's closer to 12, uh, 12,000. Yeah. So uh, we're really creeping our numbers back up to where we were before COVID. Not the most efficient way to build a home with a lot of inexperienced people, but it's kind of our favorite. We mm -hmm. love bringing people together and building houses that way. There are also some non-construction volunteer opportunities. Tell us about those. Yeah, well, I'll just say, you know, uh, our CEO likes to say that Habitat houses have, you know, two times the amount of nails in them, and I would also argue double the heart. So, uh, but yes, when we look at our non-construction volunteer opportunities, there are so many other ways to plug in. If you really are good at data entry or even answering phones, that's a big need for us right now. Uh, we also have what we call our ambassador volunteers. So these are folks that go out and kind of do outreach for us. If you like talking to people, you're good at networking, great opportunity. And, and I would say one of our really great areas of recruitment right now is our committees. So those that aren't aware, um, Habitat we grow so so fond of the families that we work with and we actually do have volunteer committees that help us to both partner with the families who are going through our, our program um, and then also to help us with the selection process. That's great. So there are volunteer opportunities beyond the build. Yes. What about the restores? Need help there? Always need help with the restores. We do both group and individual volunteer um, opportunities at the restores. And right now we're always looking for daily volunteers there. Longtime followers of, of us know only recently we've started to be open on Sundays. And so we actually have every single day volunteer opportunities available at any four of our restores. What are some of the benefits of volunteering in general? What, what's some of the feedback you hear from the volunteers? The benefit is you actually are working alongside the person you are building this home for. Um, we know our, our families work incredibly hard to also partner on this project, but you get to build alongside them. When you volunteer as a Habitat volunteer, you know that any of the work you're doing, it's going to withstand for 10, 20, and 30 years. I mean, you can still drive by a house that you helped build, and you can maybe even tell your kids, I helped build that. I helped build that. Yeah. yeah. And I, I just think that's so, so incredibly unique. Yeah. The volunteer experience at Habitat is unlike any other. We like to say also, volunteers are the heart yes. of Habitat. So what is the next big exciting thing I'm hearing about here in volunteer engagement land? Yes, so we have our annual volunteer recognition event. It, it is a big hoopla. We have a lot of fun. Uh, it's just our chance to really thank those that have come out over the last year. Um, and it's just that opportunity to highlight the accomplishments that we've had with those 12,000 volunteers, um, say a huge thank you, and really get the troops rallied for our next year. I mean, this is not going to be a light building year. We have a lot of work ahead of us and we need a lot of hands to do it. So this is an opportunity for us to do that. And this year we're just really excited to have Rosie Romero from Rosie on the House nice. to join us and say thank you. He also is going to be helping to contribute to a Habitat home this year, so we're excited to have him. Yeah, you heard Gretchen earlier, we're going to try to build 25 new homes in a new subdivision called Alta Vista Ranch. So we'd love for you to come out, help build with us. And then if you want to, if you want to work on Sundays, um, you can always <laughs> work in one of our air conditioned restores. Anything else you want people out in YouTube land to know and understand about volunteering with Habitat? I would just say, and I tell this to everybody, if you're on the fence, if you're nervous, everybody has this conception in their mind that you have to have all this skill. Um, I promise you when I started here, I had no idea how to build a house. I could barely do any DIY projects, but you don't need to know those things. To be at the restore, to be on a job site, we will, we will equip you with what you need. We have the tools um, and we have the training. And, and it's, it's community. What we're doing is community. And if you're looking for your fit here, um, if you're looking for something that you can consistently plug into, 
I would say we're it. So get off the fence and just come and join us. That's awesome. Well, Gretchen, thanks so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Um, Thank you. It's just been so fun watching all the volunteers come out over the years and um, the way the programs have expanded. There's just so many opportunities. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for today. If you would, ideally, like, comment, subscribe, and share this podcast out with your peeps. We would really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time on Habitat Now.